Welcome back to The Daily Poem here on the Close Reads Podcast Network. I'm David Kern. Today is January 24th, 2020. And the poem that I'm going to read to you today is by Christina Rossetti. She was an English poet who lived from 1830 to 1894. She died December 29th, 1894. And I meant to read uh, some of her poetry at the end of December, but that was when I was dealing with being sick and missed a week or so of shows. And so I didn't get to it and I wanted to come back and read this poem. She is, of course, very well known for writing poems that became Christmas carols like uh, In the Bleak Midwinter. And the poem that I'm going to read to you today is called Birthday. It is from her first collection of poetry from 1862 called Goblin Market and Other Poems. And it goes like this. My heart is like a singing bird whose nest is in a watered shoot. My heart is like an apple tree whose boughs are bent with thick set fruit. My heart is like a rainbow shell that paddles in a halcyon sea. My heart is gladder than all these because my love has come to me. Raise me a dais of silk and down, hang it with vair and purple dyes, carved in doves and pomegranates and peacocks with a hundred eyes. Work it in gold and silver grapes, in leaves and silver fleur de lis, because the birthday of my life is come, my love is come to me. So, not a very long poem. And I often find myself reading uh, sort of melancholy poems. And I suppose, particularly, I find myself reading melancholy poems on this podcast at this time of year in the middle of winter. So I thought, let's do a poem that is a little bit less melancholy. Now, maybe if you want to think about the fact that Christina Rossetti never got married, this poem is melancholy. But in and of itself, at least on the surface, it seems to be not so melancholy. I was reading somewhere, a blog or something, talking about how there are a lot of poems about the nature of love. Often, though, they are of the melancholy sort because they are about unrequited love or about um, a love who is no longer living or um, who has gone away, or they might be about the love who the poet can't be with or something like that. But of course, there are many poems that are also about the happy side of love. Uh, Some of Shakespeare's sonnets come to mind. Uh, Keats' poems uh, come to mind. There's many of them, including this one. So in this poem, we have two stanzas, each of which is eight lines. The second and the fourth lines rhyme, and then the sixth and the eighth lines rhyme in uh, in both cases. So there 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 is a structure present. There is a sort of form that the poem fits into. The first stanza seems to be sort of on the more descriptive side of things, I guess, more of a, well, it's a series of metaphors kind of exploring the current state of the poet's heart, right? My heart is like a singing bird. My heart is like an apple tree. My heart is like a rainbow shell. My heart is gladder than all of these because my love has come to me. So it's this expression of affection with also the very positive, hopeful occurrence of the love actually coming to the poet. You know, the love is not somewhere else, but it's the love is here. The love is has, has come to me. That he's, he or she is present. And then in the second stanza, it's a series of commands. And all of the commands are touching on themes of royalty. Uh, you know, it says, raise me a dais of silk. And it talks about purple dyes. There's doves and pomegranates and, and wine and peacocks and fleur de And all these are, are symbols of royalty, of prosperity even, uh, in the case of doves, of peace. And so they're all uh, positive, hopeful symbols of the, of the relationship. And it's as if uh, the poet's saying, my love is here, throw a party, you know? Let's, let's make a big deal about the fact that my love is here. Raise them up. Give them something to stand on. And then the very last line, we get a return to the last line of the first stanza. So that the first stanza ended, my heart is gladder than all these because my love has come to me. And then the, the poem ends in the, the second stanza with, because the birthday of my life is come, my love has come to me. And so there's this sense where the, the poet's saying, throw me a birthday party, you know, pull out all the stops, whatever you would do for a birthday party, do it now because my love is here. We could get into each of the individual images, you know, if we had more time, the idea of the singing bird, the nest, there's a sort of uh, 
mothering maternal idea going on there. Um, there's an apple tree whose boughs are bent with thick set fruit, which uh, is a it calls to mind the later poem by Robert Frost on apple after apple picking. There's um, the idea of a rainbow shell and a halcyon sea, and you know then all the all the various symbols of of royalty in the second stanza. So all of those things would be really interesting to explore, and that's one of the things that I think makes this a great poem for teaching to middle and high school students because you can spend so much time trying to to get a sense of what the poet is doing, not just formally, but what does what what role does each of these images play in determining our experience with the poem? And you can contemplate each of those images for, for quite a while and think about, well, what might this suggest? And then what does that, the image of, for example, the, the nest in a watered shoot and the boughs that are bent with thick set fruit, how do those inform one another? Um, the same with the halcyon sea and then the concepts of royalty. So the way all the different images play together can make for a really interesting conversation with um, with young poets, with students, uh, with people who are uh, new to poetry. Now, this is a podcast that's meant to be under 10 minutes every episode, so we can't get into all that right now. But I did want to point out that I like this poem for that purpose. And also, because of that, it makes for a good poet to memorize. There's lots of uh, markers and things like that to help younger uh, people memorize them, or you know, adults, because memory doesn't always come easy to adults as well. <laughs> so uh, here, one more time, is Christina Rossetti's A Birthday. My heart is like a singing bird whose nest is in a water chute. My heart is like an apple tree whose boughs are bent with thick set fruit. My heart is like a rainbow shell that paddles in a halcyon sea. My heart is gladder than all these because my love has come to me. Raise me a dais of silk and down. Hang it with vair and purple dyes. Carve it in doves and pomegranates and peacocks with a hundred eyes. Work it in gold and silver grapes in leaves and silver fleur de lis because the birthday of my life is come my love is come to me this has been the daily poem thanks so much for listening i will be back on monday with another poem for you